Hi, this is Jim Bro, and this is a Types of Thinking presentation that I put together for the Tech 4310 course for the fall of 2014. So there are four types of thinking that we'll talk about in this course. Futures thinking, critical thinking, systems thinking, and cathedral thinking. And when I say thinking, I'm talking about a disciplined thought process that is specific to approaching information that you wish to process. On Blackboard, you will find I have attached an informal list of about 40 types of thinking disciplines that I trolled off the internet and various sources in a quick afternoon. The fourth type I mentioned above is cathedral thinking. It is a very important way of thinking about changes in infrastructure and will be covered in depth when we get to the section on coal. It is important that you understand it. You may not agree with it or use it or bring it into other aspects of your life going forward from this course, but you should know about it. The other types of thinking are very important to the understanding of the world we live in, not only for the purpose of this course, but also as a way to interpret what is going on around you and what might happen in the future. Futures thinking is generally agreed to be thinking concerned with foresight, that is, anticipating the future by thinking about what might happen. You may recall that we have said that foresight is a human ability. It is something that we do naturally, and it can be very helpful if used in a positive way. Of the remaining two thinkings, critical thinking and systems thinking, I think that critical thinking is perhaps the more important. You can get a long way with systems thinking, but if you lack critical thinking, you might not get the inputs right. And as you know, garbage in, garbage out, applies here. So what is critical thinking? There are several complicated definitions of critical thinking. There are diagrams for how to do it, entire college courses to develop it, and it seems that employee candidates that are critical thinkers can practically name their own salaries these days. That being said, I like this definition from criticalthinking.org attributed to Edward Glazer. The ability to think critically involves three things. An attitude of being disposed to consider things, knowledge of the methods of logical inquiry and reasoning, and some skill in applying these methods. You get this skill from practice. There are more, there's more on the website, and I encourage you to think critically about the content in this course and in your papers, responses, and discussion posts to come to conclusions supported by reasoning and logic. This is not the same as simply being critical of the material. That is the practice of criticism, not what we're after at all. You will not get a course in logic or a primer on reasoning skills here. Your previous working college has no doubt taught you to approach making conclusions from new material logically. You're simply asked to apply that thinking to your work and demonstrate it in your responses here. How do you do it? I've referenced several videos. There's one that uh, captures the crux of the methodology. It just says that you need to be prepared to question the information you're given. And more important conclusions merit more intense questioning. There's also a five-part series for children. But don't be fooled. The ideas are all there, just covered in a way to communicate to K through 6. You should watch all five parts of the series. Just remember, you want to examine the evidence and the assumptions that are being used to support a conclusion, yours or someone else's. Why is this important? Every conclusion, statement, forecast, and inference that you make in this class and in the world is subject to questioning and second guessing. So you want to be as right as you can be. But worse yet, if you are in a position of responsible authority, your directions and statements may be followed without question by others. In either case, you need to be accountable for your work. Subjecting your conclusions to critical thinking can help assure that you have done your best. What is systems thinking? I like this definition. The process of understanding how things that are related influence one another within a whole. We will devote an entire week to this type of thinking early in the course when we hit the ocean and climate topic. And I have to warn you that once you start to see how everything is connected to everything else and understand that a collection of things is a system if any one element can affect the performance of the whole. Or maybe you get that an answer is a question's way of asking a new question you will have a new perspective on the world. 
you will see systems everywhere and will begin to understand why a small change might make a big difference when a big change might make no difference at all. Again, you will find here that critical thinking is crucial. If you let bad assumptions and poor evidence into your systems analysis, you will wind up with gobbledygook instead of useful observations. Why is it important? Systems thinking is a way of looking at big chunks of related items, actions, outputs, results, and even the lack of results to try to understand them and possibly describe how changes or even just normal events will affect them. The example we will look at closely is how the ocean and climate work together. Sometimes when you look at just pieces of a large system, you can miss the whole picture. Systems thinking tries to avoid that by casting a wide scope around all of the related parts whose interaction we can understand. How do you do it? Well, there's a lot of material coming up to answer just that, but stepwise, you decide that the, what the system consists of, you describe the interactions of the related elements with each other, and then you can diagram or otherwise describe the expected behavior of the system for various conditions. This is called modeling. If you have a good model, you can even try out reconfiguring the system to see if it will act differently under different circumstances. So here are the references and the further reading that I was talking about um, from criticalthinking.org and then a few YouTube videos, the five-part series, and then some systems thinking quotes that you uh, might find informative. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, presentation. This is Jim Bro for Tech 4310.